here with Keith DeCandido, who did the novelization of Serenity, the way cool movie that we all love. Tell us, how did you get the gig? Um, I know where the bodies are buried. No, um, that's not true. Uh, well, I did, but that wasn't how I got it. Uh, basically, I got the gig by impersonating the donkey from Shrek, uh, jumping up and down and saying, Pick me! Pick me! Uh, Conveniently, the publisher who actually got the rights to the novelization is Pocket Books, for whom I have done a ton of work. Uh, they're the publishers of the Star Trek novels that I've done, the Spider-Man novel that I did, um, and any number of other things, uh, including three previous novelizations. I novelized uh, Darkness Falls and both Resident Evil movies from Pocket as well. So they already knew me, they were familiar with my work, uh, and they knew I could do the book fairly quickly, and they knew I was a fan. So it was, it, it was a good concatenation of events. How did you manage to live all these months knowing what happens in this movie and not telling anybody? Um, for, it, it was fairly easy for me. I, I have to keep secrets all the time, whether it's you know projects I'm working on that I can't talk about, um, you know, and things like that. There's there's always, especially with with what I do for a living, writing the Italian books in particular. There's always stuff I can't talk about. And uh, you this know, I, huge I, stuff that you couldn't talk about. Yes, yet. and but I also signed a non-disclosure agreement before I ever got to see the script. And while the non-disclosure agreement was non-specific as to what would happen if I violated it, I was pretty sure that Universal's lawyers would come up with something entertaining. Yeah, like a so, pile your hair or something like that. <laughs> probably more drastic than that, but yes, the hair at least would grow back. Um, but yes, yeah, so I, you know, I. I signed, I signed an NDA, and that, that, that's the end of the story as far as I'm concerned. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to say anything. Um, although it was funny, I got to meet, um, I was at Icon in uh, Stony Brook, New York in April. Jewel State, who plays Kaylee, was one of the guests as well. And it was great. She said it was really nice to be able to talk to somebody about the movie. She and I could talk about it, obviously. Um, because she had she can't talk about the movie with anybody. <laughs> so we're, we're like sitting off in a corner at one point, just chatting about various and sundry things about the movie. And, and for both of us, it was a relief, yeah. you know, that we could actually have this conversation because we weren't allowed. Yeah. But you know, that, it's that's part of the game, you know. It's it's and it's it this. What happened in Serenity isn't anywhere near the biggest secret I've had to keep over a long period of time. Now, somebody that's already seen the movie, why should they run out and buy your book? You, you get you get inside the heads of the characters much more than you can. Um, also, there are scenes in in the original script. When you write a novelization, it's based on the script, and always when you go. Um, from the script to the movie, things get changed and things get cut. Um, in particular, there were a number of scenes that were cut for either story reasons, and by that I mean it's stuff that probably made sense. Always, there's something in the script that makes sense when you write it down that doesn't make sense once you film it. Um, certain cuts, I can see why they were cut, because it would have thrown the pacing right off if, if the scenes had been written. Um, but you did a splendid job making sure that that didn't happen in the book. Well, I wrote the book before the before the final cut of the movie happened. Anyway, that always happens. So there's all sorts of things that are in the script that that are in the book that are not in the final version of the movie. Um, I also was able to incorporate a bunch of other things from the TV show, tying, expanding it so that it's more part of the whole Firefly universe. Serenity by its so, Serenity is a movie made an attempt to be standalone, so it would appeal to a wider audience, which makes sense. You want to, you know, they're, they're, they don't want to just appeal to the hardcore fan base and I want to expand it beyond that. So with the novelization, because I had more storytelling space, because I was less constrained by that need, I was able to put it in the bigger context of the universe that was established in the TV show. What was your favorite part or character to write in this book? The character who turned out to be the most fun to write was Jane. Um, which isn't really surprising. He has most of the best lines in the movie. Yeah. Um, he also has most of the best lines in the TV show. Yeah. Um, and getting inside his head was just so much fun. You know, that he, he he's a very direct, very blunt character. And and at the San Diego Comic Con a couple of years ago, or last year, I guess, uh, <laughs> Josh Whedon said at the, at the Serenity panel that they did that Jane was the Cordelia of Firefly. Um, and he really is. He's the one, you know, he's the line Cordelia had in an episode of Buffy, tact is just not saying true stuff. 
And that's Jane right there. And, and, and that, that bluntness is just, and that directness and that visceral quality is, is, can be a lot of fun to play with. Okay. Um, what cool and new things did you have coming up on the horizon for people that are interested in your work? Uh, well, at the same time that Serenity came out, I uh, also had a Spider-Man novel out called Down These Mean Streets, which is uh, a one part of a new series of Marvel books that Pocket Books is publishing. Uh, there's a Fantastic Four novel by Greg Cox, there's a Wolverine novel coming out at the end of 2005, and a whole uh, six more books coming out in 2006. Uh, the Spidey book, I'm very happy with it. Spider-Man's one of my favorite characters, so that was a lot of fun to get. Thanks for talking with us.